historically and around the world, youth camps have played a critical role in facilitating the social and economic empowerment of young people. Here in Trinidad and Tobago, from the late 1950s, we implemented a two-year residential program intended to transform our youth participants into civic-minded, productive citizens. Our model also distinguished itself by providing remedial literacy and cultural appreciation modules alongside the civic, entrepreneurial, and techn technical curricula with a view to transforming the participants into holistically developed citizens. The restoration of these wide acts has been high on our agenda, and we are determined to reinstate residential spaces for youth development. In 2021, an advisory committee for the youth development and apprenticeship centers and the non-residential youth development centers, because we also have a suite of non-residential facilities that we will be uh, putting forward, was appointed under the chairmanship, as I mentioned before, of former Minister Anthony Garcia. Mr. Garcia has proven to be a steadfast proponent for youth development in Trinidad and Tobago. I was saying to him earlier before the start of the program that the young people are depending on us, that they, they, they are depending on you and your team so that opportunities for training and development, particularly in technical vocational areas, will be readily available. The advisory committee sought to optimize and transform the operations of pre-existing facilities and form new opportunities through a modernized curriculum, fit-for-purpose facilities, a results-based management model, and a dynamic marketing and rebranding strategy. Our program management professionals have expertly articulated a plan to ensure that our young people get the guidance they need to reach their full potential. Today, we kick off refurbishment and construction works at the Chatham Youth Development and Apprenticeship Center. These works will include the upgrade of all the structures on the compound, including the security booth, administration buildings, and staff compound. And not to mention, ladies and gentlemen, a full mechanical, electrical, and plumbing infrastructure renovation. These and much more works will take place at this facility. And while we were here earlier speaking about this facility in its heyday in the 1970s and 80s, I'm hoping under after these renovations, that the facility will be in its full use, full capacity to return the glory days and much more to this very same facility that has done so much for Chatham and the communities around this area. This camp, at one point in time, used to supply the entire southwestern peninsula with eggs, meat, and meats being pork, chicken, and fish. Sorry, not fish, beef. All right, some of the former camp trainees right here would have took up senior managerial positions and senior technician positions in places like Trimma, Petrochin, Dunlop, T and Tech. There existed some sports teams that would have come out of this youth camp and they would have reached and achieved almost national level in terms of their, their ability. And what this is gonna to do to the people of the Southwestern Peninsula is that it's gonna bring a high standard of training to their doorsteps. So we, know, we, we, we may not have the need now to go to Port of Spain to get that type of training. It's coming to our backyard, and Minister, I want to say thanks again. Right? I also fully expect the young people in this constituency and the adjoining constituency to take full advantage of what is going to, what is going to take place in point 14. And I see quantum benefits for these young people. I see them having the opportunity to, to enhance their talents and take their, 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 their talents to the next level and make themselves what they want to be in this life. We at the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service are confident that this project will be completed within schedule and we are excited as, the community, as a community to see the Chatham Youth Development and Apprenticeship Center fully operational and moving towards transforming the lives of the young people, not only of Chatham and Point Forte, but also of Southern Trinidad. I have no doubt that upon completion, we'll be able to realize our objective, which is to deliver and enrich the lives of our youth.